Okay, I did a video a year or so ago about this bride turned to stone. Supposedly, this was from a, a um, newspaper article, 1874, something like that, to the editor of The Sun. They've had many comments in the paper. I received so many letters. Da -da 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 -da. The beautiful bride, having married early in life, five years ago, he lost his wife. It comes down to the fact that she broke into this geologist's cabinet and took a, a, a rock that was filled with water. She broke it open, drank it, and died. All right, the fatal. At once, it was, it was proposed to break the large stone and several ineffectual attempts were made by them with a geological hammer always present. They called to their aid a colored man, a servant on the place, who was requested to break open the rock. And he did, and she drank from it, and she turned into, into stone. That's what it says here. I, again, I can't validate this whatsoever. But apparently it was a newspaper article. Now, because she dumped it out and then she drank it to her, you know, lifting it to her lips. She drank first to the health of her husband, then to that of the unmarried friends in the room, wishing them shortly to be happy brides like herself. And then she drained the glass. All being done so quickly, no one had time to interfere or think any consequences might follow. Well, she turned solid. And when they came to do the autopsy on her, she was petrified. She was like solid stone almost. That's what they say. Now, inside these stones it could be extremely salacious fluid, extremely silicon, because there was this time. And let me show. Well, in the video, I will show about. Um, how even Yale claimed that it could they could turn into stone within hours. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but this would be the ultimate infusion of silicon directly into a person rather than having them sit in a silicon bath. This is inside, which moves through your body very quickly. All right, once again, this is not me saying these things. This is, a, this is the actual article. The rigid in death. At first, it was thought that no harm was done. It was considered a fine joke, and much merriment was made. But in a few minutes, the youthful bride complained of excessive pain in the stomach. She began to realize the rashness of her actions. A messenger was sent to haste for her husband and myself. Mr. Haller's office being near my own, we received a message almost simultaneously. We rapidly drove together in my buggy to his house. When we arrived, she was dead. A period of 15 minutes having elapsed from the time of taking the fatal draught to the time of extinction of life. I don't think it was 15 minutes they arrived in 15 minutes. I think it was 15 minutes between the time she took it and she died, and then they arrived later. Well, how much later? I don't know. They're in a buggy. I can't see them making it in 15 minutes. You know, it's not like 911. So let's go with 15 minutes. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. They were just laying her out on our arrival. To my surprise, I found she had grown in that short period of so rigid as to render a difficult to straighten her limbs. In the course of three quarters of an hour, her entire body became as hard and inflexible as stone. All right. I pass over the grief and so forth about her husband and family had. It's too sacred to remark on confirming myself to confining myself to exclusively to the scientific facts. It was plain as something akin to the ossification had taken place. On more minute examination and inquiry, I found the dissolved silica she had taken into her stomach had been absorbed and transmitted through the body, through what they call a chlorotic 
apparatus, but that's just a body, I believe. And blood vessels throughout the system and her whole body was a petrification. Yikes. This could very, very well be a true story. It sounds either they made up a lot of little details or it's true. And now this talks about being changed to stone, having satisfied ourselves of the stony character of the entire body and its contents. It was delivered to the family and interred. Some suspicions have been aroused that there might have been poison in the pitcher which held the silica solution, as the witnesses have been sworn and have testified under oath that there was not none of that stuff. My first objection was to secure the remains of the solution of silica left in the pitcher. So he went out and got some actual remains of that stuff. There being about an ounce left, which I carefully put into a vial, corking it closely. Portions of this have been variously tested, and the result each time, variously tested, the result each time showing simply a very strong solution of silica in pure water. And I, I can understand that's what's inside a lot of these geodes. The few drops which had been left in the tumbler exposed to evaporation became in a short time a hard, clear concrete resembling flint or rather transparent quartz yielding sparks on being struck against steel. Yeah. You know. Okay, this is, I'm going to go with this and I'm going to show you why I go with it. It says, usually medicinal agents when taken into the stomach are rapidly conveyed to every portion of the human body. So she took it into her stomach and it's rapidly goes to everywhere in the human body. In some instances, in the space of two minutes flooding the body. In this instance, the flint of quartz, which is calcareous earth, was held in solution and being swallowed was rapidly conveyed everywhere throughout the body, which does make sense to me. It was filling the interstitial spaces and the necessary result was almost instantaneous petrification, solidifying the tissues and ending in death, the processing being that of infiltration. Now, the interstitial spaces, where that stuff would have been flowing would have been where the fluid-filled spaces are. That's the interstitial spaces. I think this is quite possibly a valid account. You see this? You're talking about the supersaturated dissolved silica and enabled the transformation of sand. No, it was mud surrounding these creatures, making those animals turn into rock over a matter of hours or possibly years. It depends on how supersaturated the water was in that little bowl. Now, she had a something that probably filtered everything out except the silica. I don't know. But it, it could be a true story. It could be fake. All right, what I am going to do is is um, play this one, my original one that I did, which is, uh, well, it's 43 minutes long. But I, I went into extreme details because I felt it, it had some validity to it. And this was a year ago. And I'm starting to get people asking about this. So here it is. You want to know? Here it is. <laughs> 